Students are back in school today at Franklin City Schools after a TB scare led to some extra safety steps over the weekend. And joining us now to share more on what parents and students need to know is medical reporter Liz Bonus. Hi, Liz. Hey, guys. Good afternoon to both of you. Once again, the Warren County Health Combined Health District, as they're called, notified the Franklin City School District Friday evening that a student that attended Franklin Junior High had tested positive for tuberculosis. Now, since tuberculosis is an airborne pathogen, it can impact breathing and lungs. It is easily transmitted indoors, so the health district suggested a thorough cleaning. They sent out a news release, the school city's, uh, city school district did, that we received yesterday. The germ can only survive in the air about four hours, according to public health experts. So school administrators said it was safe for students to come back. And quite often, others need testing, like the skin test they did on me. Warren County actually did this when they had a previous TB concern a few years ago. The test shows up positive or negative after a couple of days, so people know what else needs to be done then for proper care. Now, I did call the superintendent's office today for the Franklin City Schools. They told me they had nothing new to add to what they had already shared, but they also added that the student affected will not be back in school until he is cleared medically to return. The Dayton's uh, Children's Infectious Team will notify the district if anything else needs to be done as a precaution against it. Medications can stop future danger if someone does test positive. And one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this is that a positive test means you were exposed, but you don't necessarily have it. Oh, so okay. for example, um, there are nurses who will like, you know, years ago before we knew to test, got exposed to it, maybe working in mm -hmm. war times or something. They will always have a positive test. It doesn't mean they ever developed it. But what they do is they find out if you're positive and they can treat you either way so you never would develop it never be infectious to others and okay. that's why they want to find that out if they find out it's this one thing and they're not worried they won't notify anymore they'll go on if there are more concerns they usually do it they start to start with that one person's mm -hmm. family and kind of spread out so you know we've really worked on keeping this disease contained yeah I was gonna say you don't hear much about no, this and that's ever. why because of this because we notify not to you know raise alarm sure but to alert so that you know you might look for some unusual symptoms flu like things like that if you were you had a known area of exposure. It's really just a public health concern, but we know what to do about it, which Makes is really sense. good. Yeah.